Man Friday's Mesh Grabber, published in the Daz Store in December of 2019, was a resounding success. Thank you to everyone who bought it. Additional features will be added to the Mesh Grabber over time. Since the original Mesh Grabber can only move vertices in space, but not rotate them, adding rotations has been the most requested feature by far. So here it is, the first Mesh Grabber add-on for rotations. To recap, the Mesh Grabber generally works as follows. First, you activate the Mesh Grabber tool from the Tools menu. Then select an object with geometry in the scene tree. Within that object, select geometry with the mouse. Like the DAS Studio Geometry Editor, Mesh Grabber supports face, edge and vertex selection. You can swipe with the mouse to select more than one item. Hold down the control key while selecting to add items to the selection or hold down the alt key while selecting to remove items from the selection. Once you are happy with the selection, grab one of the handles of the Mesh Grabber Gizmo, which looks and works like the DAS Studio Universal tool. You can already see that with the rotation add-on installed, the Mesh Grabber Gizmo now has rotation handles in addition to the six handles for translating vertices. The sphere around the gizmo indicates how much of the geometry surrounding your selection is affected when you drag the gizmo. Now, the Mesh Grabber rotations are not too different from the translations that you might already know. As an example, here is how to make a spiral like the one on the add-ons product page. First, create a cylinder primitive with sufficient subdivisions because we are going to stretch this out quite a bit. Then select the faces at the top of the cylinder. Then increase the fall off radius so that it just includes the bottom of the cylinder. Next, grab the blue handles for rotating around the z-axis and drag it around for a full circle. Do that several times to get more than one full rotation. You can then pull out the top of the cylinder that's still selected around the z-axis to make the spiral more of a spring. As another example, here's how to make fibre mesh hair behave. In our example, we want the lady to hold the tips of her hair in her hand. So we hide the lady to be able to see the hair better and then select the hair item in the scene tab first. Then we select a few polygons at the end of the hair and then select grow selection a few times. We can use the control and the plus key to do that more quickly. Find a suitable rotation axis. Now this is a good example to show that to describe a rotation you need two pieces of information, a rotation axis and a rotation angle. The Mesh Grabber will always use one of the gizmo axes for rotating and has been given two new features to support rotations better. First, in the tool settings, there are two new gizmo orientation modes. The Z to Cam mode is particularly useful because it will keep the gizmo at a fixed angle so that its Z axis will point at the camera. In other words, the rotation axis is then perpendicular to your screen. You can then use the blue rotation angle to rotate around that axis. Additionally, to move the gizmo's rotation axis to a different place, but without moving the selected mesh, hold down the control key while you drag one of the gizmo's handles. So, with the control key down, we will now move the gizmo to a point in the lady's shoulder, which is good for rotating the hair bits around. Now we grab the blue rotation handles and off we go! This often requires a bit of trial and error, but less so with practice. Often, you will find that alternating between moving and rotating vertices will give you the results you need. This concludes our overview of the rotations add-on for Man Friday's Mesh Grabber. 
Both the Mesh Grabber plugin and the add-on are available in the DAS store now at daz3d.com.